Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjay Rudeja. I'm working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe. And here I present day 2nd of July Lead Code Challenge. The question that we have in today is transpose matrix. Here in this question, we are given a grid of size M cross M and we need to transpose this matrix up. Also, uh, here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example uh, along with the algorithm by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Lead code 867 transpose matrix. It's an easy level question on lead code and I also feel the same. Also, in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated below. Towards the end of the sheet, I have an announcement to make and it will really help all the developers out there who are looking for change. So stay tuned. Let's get back to the same example that was specified in the question. We have the matrix as 2, 4, minus 1, minus 10, 5, 11, 18, minus 7, 6. And we need to transpose this up. The updated matrix should be in the form 2, minus 10, 18, 4, 5, minus 7, minus 1, 11, and 6. So if you carefully analyze the input matrix, you will see that few elements are getting transformed as per these rules. So let's analyze the diagonal first. So let's analyze the left diagonal, this one. So if you carefully see, it remains the same in the output matrix. Let's walk through the other possible test case. Let's analyze all the elements that lie towards the bottom of this diagonal here, over here. So let's go for minus 10 first. So if you carefully observe, then this minus 10 is getting replaced by four over here. So these two are getting swapped in the output matrix. So we get minus 10 here, 4 over here. Similarly, if you analyze this minus 7, then this is getting replaced by 11. So these two are getting swapped. So we have minus 7 over here and 11 over here. And if you carefully analyze this element, it is getting swapped by this one. So these two are getting replaced with each other. So we have minus 1 here, 18 over here. Now let's analyze their indexes. So if you carefully see, then the index of this element happens to be 1 comma 0. So the row is 1, the column is 0. And it is getting the new position as 0 comma 1. So what is the new position of minus 10? It is 0 comma 1, 0th row and first column. So 1 comma 0 is getting replaced to 0 comma 1. Let's walk through a few more cases as well. Let's analyze this one. So if you carefully, what is the current position of 18? It is 2 comma 0, second row and 0th column. And to what element will it be set in the output matrix? It would be set at the index 0 comma 2. So let's validate it if that is the case. Yes, that is the case. 18 is getting set at the 0th row and the second column. Let's walk through a few more cases. Let's try and analyze this minus 7 and where is get where this element is getting set. The current location of this minus 7 is 2 comma 1. So where it will be set? It will be set at 1 comma 2. So let's check whether the new position for minus 7 is 1 comma 2 or not. Yes, it is 1 comma 2, the first row and the second column. So we have carefully analyzed all the elements and we can say that the ith index is getting swapped with the jth index. So if you have an element at i comma j in your input array, in the output array, it would be set at j comma i. So this is the takeaway of the entire question and we will exactly follow the same steps and let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude it further. The time complexity of this approach is order of n into m where n signifies the number of rows and m signifies the number of columns. Even before that, let me just share with all of you coding decoded data structures and algorithm preparation sheet. If you have an eminent interview scheduled that you want to crack that you are looking out for and you don't know how to revise since there are so many concepts of data structure that are asked in interviews, these revision sheets are going to help you out. So here I have created the dynamic programming, graph, try, binary search, backtracking, bit manipulation, stacks, monotonic stacks, sliding window and matrix one recently. And if you go and check out each one of them, you will see that the questions are present in the increasing order of difficulty. I have also mar marked few questions that are must do before an interview that are highly asked in interviews and those are reflected by asterisk sign. So it, it's a must to do before an interview 
and along with this in few of the revision sheets like backtracking tries binary search i have provided with you with the template that gets applied to all such questions for example let's walk through the backtracking one so this is the backtracking template if you'll go through this question then the rest of the questions applies the same formula out there and similarly for tries and others as well so i'm attaching its link in the description below do check them out and it's definitely going to help you in your interview preparation now let's get back to the question and conclude it further so here i have calculated the number of rows that i have here i have calculated the number of columns that i have and in case the rows are zero i simply return back the matrix columns are zero i return back the matrix otherwise i go ahead and create the transpose matrix the output matrix that i want to create and i iterate over it one by one i equals to zero i is less than n j equals to zero j is less than m so row wise and column wise and the interesting part here is that you are transposing j comma i equals to matrix of i comma j so whatever i comma j exists in your initial matrix gets updated as j comma i in your output matrix so this is what we need to do uh, j is getting replaced by i and i is getting replaced by j in the end we simply return the transpose matrix and we are done with the operation the time complexity of this approach that i have already told is order of n into m with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll be adding more to the list of coding decoded sd revision sheet